you live in the same dorm. Like it. <laughs> they live in the same dorm. <laughs> 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 you have two different points of uh, way of living. Yeah. Don't mm. follow the manual. Oh, no, the manual is a general. Yeah, it's it's just an over. Exceptions for different rules. Yeah, he really does especially, take things literally. The idea of uh, instead of especially in like business and marketing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the only place where are manuals are probably gonna be like follow to the T are like stuff like hospitals and you're tech. dealing with life and tech because you're dealing with like life and stuff like that yeah but for stuff like advertising marketing and sales oh, you can that. do whatever you want get a sale get a sale just don't yeah. break the law <laughs> don't break the law pay your um pay your peoples Damn, you shots. see the way that thing you see the way that what's that thing called the birdie the birdie, mm -hmm. that birdie freaking through the racket. That was cool. Right. Slam dunk. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, they're a bank. Yeah, no wonder he looks expensive. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> He looked like he would buy the high class bottle of wine from the top. <laughs> I'd apply for a credit card for you. <laughs> like, I could use my black card, but only at a $2,000. <laughs> I'd use up my credit limit for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like it's like, I'll break into the pink vault for you. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, they're doing rally exercises as a practice where um, you purposely hit it in a V so you can um, run across the court by, side by side. It's a good work way to just hold stamina. Work on that feet work. Yes, work. Work. Work on that court. Work. 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 That is one big, what is that called? Please don't tell me that's his racket. No! Oh my god, that's his racket. <laughs> oh shoot, communication guys. Well, they Let's kind see. of, well, they Let's tried communicating. But instead, their brains hit each other. Oh. He got trauma again. He got trauma from high school. What? No, man. That happens a lot. I think, thank you. I think it was high school. Yeah. yeah you're right. It was high school because they said remember, like the national tournament or some shit. Yeah, national tournament. I think it was high school. And now they're in like a freaking work team, so. Damn. Wait, doesn't it feel like he's putting a lot? Okay, never mind. That <laughs> that is a lot. <laughs> the brother's drunk. I never seen fresh. French onions prepared like that. That looks pretty good. Number two in the badminton world. 
Yes. No, but I like that. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> so he's basically Oikawa. <laughs> yeah, Oikawa. But imagine if you've been having a career since like middle school and now you're like in the league as a 27 something years old. Which is really good because I don't think, um, I forgot the complete time limit for a badminton. And when professionals usually retire, but I'm pretty sure that it's around like 30. So he's like getting there. 30? Why is it shorter than like most sports careers? What the? Honestly, I might be wrong. Um, I might confuse. I might have confused with racquetball. Hold up. Yeah. Oh, I was right. Average professional badminton player retires at 30, <laughs> 30 and a half years old across all disciplines. The average female retires at 28. Gosh, wow. Yeah. That's a short life, man. Damn. Maybe, maybe because I'm thinking of basketball. I'm thinking basketball like late 30s. Yeah. Retire. Football. Fuck, there's people in the 40s playing football. Honestly, they need to make the retirement date a bit lower because football is a whole ass contact sport. Oh, you're talking of, you're thinking of the wrong football. Soccer. Oh, wait. <laughs> Soccer. I'm sorry, you're American. I forgot. <laughs> Soccer. <laughs> I, I didn't wish to be here. <laughs> <laughs> none of us wish to be here. No, 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 not like that. No, but no. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Aaron Yeager. Oh, sorry, Zeke. Is that you? <laughs> you more, like on, plan. more like on Kaban, except for colonize. <laughs> yes. Is he using his? He's using his badminton oh. skills for a real life fight. That's a really good ability, though. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes, sir. That was a good tackle, too. It was, but this guy's, our main character is so dumb. I just he's think so he's dumb. socially inept. That's really it. I think he's also work in work. He's an app too, because he, in work, he literally he literally couldn't even hold a tray of natto cola. And he turned staying. his tie into a bow tie at the same time in the first app. That wasn't him. That was our. That was the blonde guy that did it. But yeah, no, that was not the. Oh yeah, that it wasn't was him. the blonde guy. It, it was the prank. <laughs> I realized it was the prank. Still I thought that you meant like so he was the one that had the bow tie on. That's why I was confused. Well, that makes him even more dumber. He kept it. He didn't even notice he had a bow tie on. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't get fired for that. You break the boss's car's front end bumper? <laughs> Nato Cola? I, oh I guess they ha they're more forgiven? It's because they stopped that robber. But what? That robber was going to steal, like, what? $5 worth of food? That front $5 bumper is probably $1,000. That front bumper bent is probably, like, a $1,000 plus. Dollars. <laughs> it is. Oh?
<laughs> I agree to a certain extent. Uh, in terms of if you focus on one area, if you focus to improve on one area, sometimes a domino effect occurs in your life where your other areas start also become improved. Getting better. Yeah. Yeah. Sticking to one thing can lead to a domino effect. So yes, there oh. is a point in pointlessness. <laughs> 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 what? Damn. The number two player is respecting him. Thing? Yeah. Oh, he's, he's 25. 25. He's younger than him. He's young, young. What are you, 15? <laughs> Son that... of a bitch. Oh, remember, um, they did mention that they do have student employees. Like that one guy is around like nineteen. Yeah, he's an intern, so I guess yeah, I guess the kid's an intern. Yeah, I think so too. With badminton old timer. <laughs> Twenty five as well. Yep. Seemed like they were classmates, or at least knew each other. Oh no. That makes our guy the senpai, like through and through. Thirty two? Very much. Yeah. That's probably why why they know of him. Because they probably looked up to him and eventually oh, they're able yeah, to rise the ranks. I'm guessing they probably saw him in his prime. Let's say yeah. there's a seven year difference, right? So when mm -hmm. he was in his prime of let's say twenty five, they were eighteen. Yeah. 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 And imagine if he started doing badminton earlier than you may think. Like, we still don't know the entire details, so. Nice. That was good receipt. Whew. Ah. Yeah, those birdies sometimes be tricky. How do how do duos even work? Do you go front and back? If it falls in the front, you got it. If it falls in the back, or do you go left right? Yeah. If it falls on the left side, one teammate falls on the right side, the other teammate. Um, back and back and front, basically, and sort front. of like with tennis. Oh, I see. Oof. Damn. There's a reason why I played so many racket sports is because the skills really can be translated whichever sport you play with some minor differences. Rush. <laughs> oh, this is a single. We won. Good job. Oh, uh, that was a good follow through. Why did he let that go? If you backed up, you would have been able to receive it. You won huh. again? Oh, wow. Our singles is strong. Oh. Be patient. Oh, that little kid's not even playing. He must be the he must be the real singles player. I guess so. Either that, yeah, definitely is probably the singles player. Wait, um, you know, you know, scoring then um tennis and racket. Whoa, whoa, that was a good. Mm, that was a great follow through. And he has mm. great aim. What the fuck? How do we adapt to that? He smashes every time. Not only does he smashes every time, he's very accurate. He knows exactly where he wants the birdie to go and what intensity. <laughs> Damn. 
Oh, um, and those sectors in the back, like the little divide in the back, you don't go out of that line as a penalty line and you usually use it to serve from. There we go. Yes, a volley. I think we got... You need, oh. it. You need it. Stop. Stop. Yes. There we go. Luckily, it was... Luckily, it was a volley, so he was able oh, to have enough me time see. to get to it. Like a back. Yeah. If he's the second best player, does that mean his partner is also the second best or no? No. So it's not the second best pair, it's just the second best individual. I think so. He covers for your flaws. Yeah. Yes. You focus and gamble on what you can. He'll focus right. on what he'll focus on the others. That's why you gotta communicate with your teammate. There's some stuff that you're better at, and some stuff that they yeah. aren't. Yeah. Now cover for him. Ooh, that go. was great such a great strike yeah it Over seems like he yeah oh. it seems like he doesn't like volleys he can't do them because of what happened yeah so it looks so obviously our main guy our uh, older senpai is already covering but our new guy our stupid protagonist doesn't know how to cover for the senpai who's covering him <laughs> come on Come on. I wonder what made him made him um, join this team team despite everything. Ooh. There we go. Yes, use that prediction ability. No. I was afraid that I wasn't gonna hit over, but nah, he hit the ball. And, so damn. And he's not gonna get it a hundred percent of the time. Right. But there we go. See him? He's gonna counter. Yep. Senpai. Yes. It's all right. Sometimes you get it wrong, sometimes you get it right, but at least you have that skill. No, but it's the fact that Senpai can cover for when he's wrong. That's the that's mm -hmm. the great part. So oh, it's yeah. actually unbeatable. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Okay, so they did talk about it before then. That's good luck. <laughs> yes. There we go. Nice kill. Now both teams are getting the rhythm. Let's go. No. Oh. Come this on, you're almost at. You're almost there. Yep. We can get one. We don't even have to win the whole the whole the whole game, but just win a set. That would be cool. Yeah. Where? Okay. No, it's the. There we go. <laughs> hey. Oh fuck! I'm surprised I didn't try to just tap it over, over the net, just in a different direction, so oh, immediately Jordy would die. Woo! The way he changed his angle of his hand, smash! There we go. Like you saw we the way one. that he hit, you saw the way that he brought that birdie down. Mm, that's yeah. right. Ooh. Immaculate. Damn. Now they're going to rev it up. Love all. Again. We could lose this one. I don't mind. But as long as we can learn from it. Right. Smash. At least they showed that they have the capability. <laughs> we lost. <laughs> yeah, you guys really did. Around, around that set. 
you showed that y'all are opponents. Yeah, not practice partners, actual opponents. Exactly. That's what practice... I feel like that's what practices... Uh, well, those types of practices is all about. That's probably why in st- places like Haikyuu and stuff, the coaches at the start of the show didn't even want to consider playing with Karasuno because they weren't even viewed as opponents. Right. He needs to benefit Very- both sides, not just yeah. one. But do you worthwhile? Because you don't want to practice with a team that's not going to challenge the other team. I guess next episode we're finally going to go into why he has the drama and how we can go about yeah. Not only like that. Because isn't that just like playing with a limiter on you? Like a huge limiter on you? Pretty much. My limiter while I was um doing squash was basically the fact that um there was someone that kind of was harassing me. So a lot oh. of times... So a lot of the times... I would be immediately pissed off at everyone. And gotcha. as a result, I would bring it up, bring that out during a match. Oh, damn. Anger is a good thing to use. However, it can be blinding. as we see Very. It wasn't until I learned to control it. And sadly, that was my last year. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. When you're able to harness it, though, this, this like you said, it can yeah. be used for... A lot of good things. Exactly. Mostly with racket sports. Because remember... everything comes from that arm strength. Everything. You're in control remember, of uh... the ball and the birdie more than you think. Yeah. In university, my trainer to get us hyped up, or at least me hyped up, in the mornings at like 5 or 6 in the mornings mm-hmm. for those training runs, she would say, imagine your dog is about to get run over. <laughs> no. That shit scarred me so bad. Oh. <laughs> but that, but that, but that anger, Wait, which I can, that... I can pull that out right now. I can pull it out at any point in my life right now because of how much they've trained it into me, like a Pavlov dog. God, dude. That shit's, Wait, who's this that dude? Shit. I think he knows. Um. <laughs> you imagine that's the one that broke his arm. What? If that like, is. The one that, that's Mikoto's gonna return to doubles. Fun. Why would he care about Mikoto returning to doubles? Because that's because the last he... person he played doubles with. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's it doesn't jail. look like he's... <laughs> no, he's not in jail. He's working at a fast factory. Okay, thank God. I thought no. he was in jail. <laughs> Why I, would I he have a phone in jail? Like, jail? There's a lot of phones with jails. That's true, <laughs> but usually they're fucking flip phones, not a whole ass iPhone. <laughs> You get that, but they get <laughs> they be crafty though, so never mind. They can shove that up their butt. All right. <laughs> can you? I think that's a good place. No. 